Okay, so here's your bracket once again. And here's your, your gear assembly that goes inside of it. If this fell apart on the other side of you, you're going to have to reassemble this. There's your cap that comes off the top if you have to pull off the wrong side. And this is the, the ball bearing and the little, the little flapper here that goes inside of it. This is real simple to put back to. Just somebody showing you how to do it. Okay. There's a spring inside of here that many times when you pull the seat belt apart, if you're not careful, this pulls apart and this spring pops out of here. I'm going to try to get that back in there too. There's your spring in there. And it all goes inside of here, and you're gonna you're gonna wonder where all this went, and that's where it goes. There's also a dowel pin that I pulled out. I don't know that you'd ever have to go this far, but right here is a is a square hole, and there's a a pin that comes out of here. When you do that, it lets this gear assembly come apart. I'm just gonna take it apart so you guys can see how it's all put back together. Now this is the slot that your seat belt goes in that you're looking at right here. I don't know why you'd ever have to go down this far unless you're trying to replace the seat belt webbing itself. Then you might have this apart and it may, it may be your lunch. But anyway, now this star head in here, notice inside there, it, it's only shaped to go in one direction. If you have to pull this apart, I'd recommend putting a mark on this or something. Um, because you can spin it around, it's not going to fall together. You get it in, in the right spot there, it'll assemble right back where it goes. We, we've marked it right here. Is how we knew that's where the, the spot was to just make it easy for a video. Okay, so that's uh, putting you back together there. The dowel pin came out from this side. You stick that back in there, and you're completely reassembled for how it goes. And it's in there nice and tight. Okay, so there's your gear for that. Now you've got the um, the hardware that you stick through here. This has to go through the seat belt. It's going to hang. It's designed to work as such. So when you're in a thing where you're driving over a railroad track, something like that, this gear is what's going to hang and put put pressure on these teeth. You can see it working right here, how it grabs. So that's what you feel grabbing you when you can't reach up on the dash and get your sunglasses or something. That thing is grabbing a hold of you. So that sits right there. And it's a little bit tricky, but that's, uh, that's going to have your gear assembly um, in this position to then put the cap back on from the other side. Now on this we have found if your spring is popped out, put your spring on the plastic part first. It's um I don't know if exactly can do it any other way. And then you um it's gonna fit right down inside this groove right here when it goes. So I like to use a little screwdriver to do it, so turn it up on its side. You've got to have the the rotating gear fit on this. Let me see if I can get my hands free here to do it all. Be a little bit flexible on this. What I'm trying to do is just get where I can put pressure up against that spring to hold it somewhat in place. So there it is, but it's not where it belongs. So I want to get on this side of it where I can raise it up to see if it's in there. It actually fell in place. If you can see the camera angle, it's in the spot where it belongs there. If not, get a little tiny pick or screwdriver and you can pull it back from this angle here and, and help it get in place. Now, push down on that once that's there. That has got to stay on there. Okay, that, that'll let your hard work. So you're in, you're in good shape for this. All right. Now you need your, your cap and everything to hold you in place. We'll get that on the next step.